Welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to show you how to add Pear Deck to your Google Slides. If you would pause and hit the like button and subscribe button, that would help me out so much just to know uh, if these videos are helping you, if I should continue making these videos, and also if you'd like to leave a comment to let me know if I could answer more questions, go into more detail about something, or even branch off into something else that is, you know, related but I haven't addressed yet. Uh, so thank you and let's get started. Um, and this is just very early on in the Pear Deck journey, uh, how to even add it on to the Google Slides system itself. So we can start by going to uh, a blank presentation just for modeling purposes. Okay, so what we can do here is go up to add-ons and slide down get add-ons and uh, here we have Pear Deck somehow <laughs> uh, and if it's not predicted for you you can always type it in Pear Deck and you can click either one and here we have it you'll click it and then you'll click click install continue and so it will prompt you to select the account you would like to associate Pear Deck with um, if you are teaching uh, I would suggest using whatever account you more frequently use in correspondence to your slides. So if you have your uh, school district email or if you have a specifically designated teaching email, I'd suggest using whichever one you have all your things, uh, all your slides associated with, just so you don't have to bounce back and forth between different emails. So, um, just to take a look uh, at the Pear Deck access um, kind of guidelines and what's going on. Um, so just read through that and then trusting, press allow. And there we go. So it has been installed and easy as that. And if you, in the future, make a new slide deck and you want to make your way to Pear Deck, uh, the app extension essentially that is partnering with Google Slides, you are going to go up to add-ons again. So we'll check that out next. So here it is now that we've added it on, but in case you start a new slide deck and you say, oh man, I forgot how, where to get to those Pear Deck templates. How can I get to those slides that are already made for me? So you can go up to add-ons again. And now after you've downloaded Pear Deck, uh, you will have this uh, little tab here. Starting from add-ons, going down Pear Deck, click open add-on, it will load, and here we have it. So uh, I will make another video on how to use Pear Deck, um, but essentially it is uh, a great way to make your slides interactive. And this can be during a live session, you send students a link, um, and they uh, get a window that is uh, a second window populated, but it will be tied to whatever you have on your slide. You can also use Pear Deck uh, during asynchronous activities. So if you create a, a slide deck that is to be used by students on their own time to complete an activity, maybe for homework, uh, you can also do that. Uh, and I, personally, that's what I do with my first graders uh, when using Pear Deck most of the time although I have used Pear Deck once or twice during live sessions. Uh, as soon as you open uh, the add-on window, the pop-up, uh, it will bring this up. And here at the top, it has uh, the title template library and you can click here to get some of their um, Pear Deck slides that have already been made. Um, and they're organized in different ways, beginning a lesson, during a lesson, end of a lesson. Uh, and there's a wide range of templates uh, in terms of not only the scope of what they're asking for uh, in terms of subject content, but also in terms of age range. Uh, so you can take a look and kind of uh, snoop around here. So I technically, uh, not technically, I <laughs> typically uh, look at the ones from Littles. And so there's many that can be used for K2 uh, or K1. Uh, there are some that uh, might be a little bit more challenging for those kids uh, K2. Uh, but you could even use a template and modify it for your own needs. So whenever you click one of their templates, um, it will load onto your slide deck that you currently are displaying or working on. 
and here at the bottom it will show that this slide specifically will become interactive. So whatever instruction you want um, and the template will use um, either the pen or um, like uh, ink dot style response uh, that's already kind of paired to what the slide is asking for, the template. I have not so much ventured into creating my slides from scratch yet, um, but I'll go into another video on how to use these and uh, how to have your students interact with them, how to use them uh, to collect data. Please uh, like and subscribe. And uh, if you would like, leave a comment below to tell me how I can uh, better make videos or answer questions. Uh, and I will soon be uploading a Pear Deck video showing uh, how to use them, how to use the links, how to share them with uh, students' families, and how to collect data from them. Thank you. See you next time.